How's it going guys? Like Boss Gaming 69 here with my third episode of High School and Teenage Problems on Mystery Gamers TV. So, um guys, for this week I'm going to be talking about something that is pretty relevant in high school, and that's going to be teachers. You know, I know a lot of kids in high school just don't like teachers. They're like, "Whoa, why would they give us work?" You know, I'm smart enough. And that's understandable because some teachers like teachers can be divided into a couple different sections like one there's like the new teachers fresh out of college and they just pretty much let you do anything and they use new teaching methods and that's kind of fun and then there's teachers who have been teaching for a while who i like because normally they have given up on the kids who just don't want to do anything so they don't bother wasting their time with them and they really just teach us the stuff and give us enough work and then there's the teachers who have been teaching for, like, since the prehistoric age. <laughs> since, like, the Triceratops roamed the Earth. And they just give you tons of work and, like, expect everyone to, like... I don't know, they just... They're just people who just shouldn't be teaching anymore. And they expect way too much and they just don't understand how society has changed. Like, because it has a lot. You, you look at, like the 50s and compare it to now it's really you know obviously it's a big difference and some people just haven't adapted to that and so older teachers who spend half their time you know working with kids you would think would understand the changes but somewhere it just gets stuck in their head and i have had um I've had some bad teachers, uh, let's be honest, we've all had at least one of those teachers who you just absolutely loathe, you just hate with, just, just with all your might, and I'm gonna tell you about that, and a teacher I really enjoy, after I talk a little bit about the gameplay, and the gameplay is brought to me by Mr. Gandalf here, I don't know if that's his YouTube channel, that's his Skype name, so, um, I will include a link to his channel down below, I think it is just Mr., yeah, it's Mr. Gandalf here, Mr. Gandalf here. Link in the description to his channel. Please check him out. Subscribe. He has some pretty cool gameplays. So, um, yeah. In this, uh, gameplay, he's playing Modern Warfare 3, some domination on Arcaden. I hope I didn't just butcher that word. <laughs> anyway, he goes 38 and 8 with the silenced MP7 and rapid fire on. Excellent gameplay. We hope to see more from you, Mr. Gandalf here. So, <laughs> Yeah, so first I'm going to talk about that one teacher that I just didn't like at all. And there's actually two teachers, but one of them stood out to me so much. And this was my 8th uh, grade band teacher. Yeah, I think she yeah, she was my 8th grade band teacher. And she was just like she was my 5th grade band teacher too, and she wasn't that bad then, but something must have just clicked in her over these next couple years. Like she would some examples. She would just like do these crazy things like um She'd always mention her daughter and how great her daughter and son are. And I've seen her daughter and son play, and they are very good players. But they, like, she always brings it up, and she has these, like, insane stories. Like, oh, my son was, was just an amazing catcher in high school. He was up there. He was, like, the second best catcher in, the, in Minnesota behind Joe Maurer. And, but the problem is he couldn't hit, so that's why he didn't go play. And I'm like, um, yeah, maybe you should get your facts straight, lady. I'm pretty sure that's not right. But, no, she was just like, ugh, I don't know. She said all these horrible things, too. Like, I mean, I'll, to, to be, like, granted, our class was a horrible class of band students. We sucked at band in general, and the people were just horrible and rude. But still, some of the things, like, when a bunch of kids were quitting because she was, like, just being just a horrible teacher and just making the class not enjoyable. And these were kids who were my friends and who were actually okay band students. And then, like, when they left, um, sh like, she was like, oh, well, we didn't need their sound anyway, or we didn't need them anyway. And that was just horrible to say something like th Or no, she said they were bringing the band down. And if you guys, if any of you guys are in band, that's just a horrible thing to say, that some people were making us bad. I mean, obviously it's true, some of them weren't the best players, but you don't say that as a band teacher. You should have more restraint on what you're saying. And one time our, like, 
class was just kind of fooling around and smile and someone smiled or something and she just went on this crazy rant and was like i can smile too and started like running around and uh, just doing these crazy like things and it, it, it was scary i'm gonna be honest it pretty much scared me a lot and i realized she was trying to make us improve but she has to realize that not every kid is gonna listen and you just gotta teach what you have to teach and help the kids who want to be helped you know you don't have to bother with the kids who don't want to learn i mean you can you can like spend some time with them but after a while if they just refuse to learn then there's not really a point in teaching them is there i mean to be honest um yeah really so yeah, that that's really one of my, the worst teachers who I've ever had. She was all right. I mean, like, I can't blame her. I mean, she has a hard job, and you can't blame him for that. But, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> but for now, for my best teacher that I've ever had, this is a hard one. Because I've had a bunch of teachers that I, I just really like, and they've really helped me proceed to where I am in my school career right now. <laughs> um... And but she was actually going into this my first year of high school so this last year um, I have been in pre AP English which is like an advanced English class um, since seventh grade and I've always gotten good grades in it you know very high grades in it and just some something in my brain told me not to take it this year and because of that I got put in a regular English class and that's what a regular English class. I'm sorry, I kind of slurred there. I don't know. <laughs> but um, that's where I met this teacher. And she was just... I don't know. She's just been the best teacher. I only had her for one semester, which is like the first half of a school year. And then they changed... I was like the only kid they changed out of her class. I don't know why I got changed to a worst class. But I was like the best kid in that class. No offense to anyone. But no, she's just. she was just the greatest teacher. Um, she really helped kids... And she put her foot down if kids were just being annoying. And she's also actually, she got me to join speech, which I don't know if you guys know, but I love speech. It has been a passion of mine. I just, I really enjoy it. And she got me to join. She is my speech coach. And she's just a very, if you guys don't know what speech is, it's not like a special ed class that teaches kids how to, it's like, there's different categories, like humorous, I'm in humorous. <laughs> um humorous like drama and you like you perform a speech that's written by someone or you make one up you can write one in some categories and you perform it in front of people and it's like i don't know it's really fun because i do different voices and stuff and that's really helped me with my uh um my youtube career okay skype stop blinking <laughs> but it's really helped me with my youtube career which really helps me to um improve my speaking and make it more clear so you guys can hear me and so you guys can listen to the voice inflections and the blah 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 you know sometimes i talk with my hands a lot when i do this obviously you guys can't see that you're looking at some cod gameplay which is very good um sorry there's no game sounds to it that's just a problem that i hope you guys don't mind my voice really kind of covers it up hopefully but yeah, so that's really one of the best teachers I've ever had. She was just she's she's just a great teacher and a great coach. And so in summary, there are a lot of teachers who are very bad. It's not a pro you know, it's not really um it's not an unknown thing. Teachers can be pretty bad, and that's just something that happens and sometimes you just have to live with that, you know, um but there are also teachers who can really help you learn and it's really the, the thing is you just have to find those teachers that want you to learn and then just just talk to them and always be involved with your teachers because in the end they do want to help you that's their job is to help you and if they don't then well they don't really belong with that job but guys i really hope you enjoyed this video uh, tune in next week. Sorry this video is a little bit late. It's normally every Friday. I realize today's a Sunday. It'll probably get update, uploaded Monday. Hope you guys enjoy. Check out my personal channel, youtube.com slash likeabossgamer69. Till then, see you guys next week. Have a boss day. Peace!